Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this look right here. Uh, it's just like a brown, it's a brown smoky eye glittery using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I added some purple glitter for fun, but going to a concert, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, I'm so, so, so excited. The last time I saw them, actually it was my very first concert um, that I ever saw back when I was like, like eight years old. So I think it's super cool that they're husband and wife, literally a couple goals. So I'm super excited. So I want to do something a little bit more dramatic. I am wearing false lashes again. I did give it another shot. So maybe it's growing on me, but um, please keep watching if you want to see how I got this look right here and please subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to start off by priming. All right. So we want this to last super long and I want a real glowy face today or tonight. So I'm going to start with the Touche Clat Blur Primer from YSL. It's a really pretty primer. It smooths and it glows and it has glitter. What more could you ask for? Put this all over my face. Mm. And it smells like cucumbers. Mm. Alright, next I'm going to go in with the Cabra FX um, Power Play Foundation. And I'm using the shade N35. And using a Morphe M439 brush, I'm just going to blend that into the skin. Next, taking this Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in Light Neutral. I'm going to brighten up underneath my eyes. my Morphe sponge, I'm just going to blend that out. Right, taking the Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder, I'm just going to brighten up and set my under eyes. And using the Y11 brush from Morphe. Okay. Then taking the Hoola Bronzer, this is just a little mini that I have right here. I'm going to use the um, Morphe M536 brush to warm up my face. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Wow, I look like a freaking ghost right now. Okay, that's cool. And taking a Morphe, or I'm sorry. Sure, why not? Taking a Sephora Pro Blending Large 27 brush, I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. And under the cheeks, just to make your lips look a little bit fuller. Er, did I say cheeks? I meant lips. Oh my god. Okay, so I want more of a glowy look, so though the foundation is a little bit more mattifying and we use powders, I'm going to use an illuminating powder to bring some more like life back to my skin. So I'm just going to take um, a Sephora foundation brush. This is the airbrush number 55. It's nice and fluffy, but it still packs on um, some powder, you know? Um, so I'm going to be using the Becca... Um, soft light blurring powder. I love this stuff. I get compliments on my skin every single time I use it. It's so freaking pretty. And it really does just that. Just blurs your skin while illuminating. Like it, it has a kind of a peach um, 
tint to it. You can see that there. And I'm just going to dust this all over my face. See, it almost like gives a highlight, but the light's catching it a little bit more. It doesn't look that radiant in person, but it just adds like a glow to your skin without like a highlighter glow. You know what I mean? You get the difference, right? For a highlight. I'm going to be using the Artist Couture. Oh wait, first. First blush. Let's not forget blush. I'm going to use the Too Faced, what is this called, Baby Love. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes. First off, the packaging, like how cute is this? Too Faced, killing the game. And it is just like the most beautiful peachy, pink, mauve, neutral blush for my skin tone. So I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be using my Morphe E4 to apply this. Stuff is pigmented too, so tap a little bit off. Just apply that right to the apples. Whoop! Pigment game strong. Okay. Now we highlight. So I'm going to be using the Artist Couture in Illuminati. This, these are so beautiful like as a shoulder shimmer as an eyeshadow as a highlighter anything like freaking put it all over your face and glow like a disco ball like they're so pretty okay so ugh, I always lose my brushes like if you saw this desk right now you'd be like get your freaking life together right now because no but you can't see the dust so you can't judge me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using the Real Techniques. This is a setting powder brush and just start to apply the highlighter. To I, don't, I don't even need to like say anything about this. Like, come on. Hmm. Oh, highlight. You do have my heart. Oh, I just love like that that corner glow, like the eye socket. Oh, and it just catches the light. It's so beautiful. And of course, we can't forget the nose. It's right there. And keep it so. You want to glow, you got to use the Tatcha. You have to do this before you apply your eye makeup or else your mascara will be all over your face. Not right away, but within the next couple hours. Faux show, sure. especially in these hot, this hot summer heat. No, absolutely apply this before your eye makeup. Trust me. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and it just smells so good too. Mm. But that's not all. I love glitter and I love shimmer, so you don't have to do this step. But the new MAC Fix Plus Gold Light, love it. It's literally like shimmer. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to spray this as well all over my face. Mmm yourself a good dose of it so you will look a little bit wet like as it first applies but it'll settle down it'll settle down don't worry my hair is looking so crazy oh my gosh all right so I'm going to do my brows I'm gonna do my brows I'll be right back brows are done as always, I just used the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. And now we're going to begin the eyes. So 
So I wanted to use the Jaclyn Hill, um, the very first palette that she came out with, with Morphe. She's coming out with new palettes, so I wanted to dabble back into this palette. Okay, so bear with me because the, this palette does not have any names on it, so... I'm going to start by going in with this shade right here. It's the third color, the third color in from the palette and using it, a fluffy brush. I'm using the Sephora crease 10 brush and just going to apply that color to my crease. And this will just make sure that the shadows we lay down after will blend out nice and easily. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone right now using the very first shade in the palette, the lightest shade. So now taking a Morphe M573, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. So it's like that warm kind of like a warm caramel color and I'm going to apply that directly in my crease. Okay, so now taking a Morphe M124 brush, I'm going to be using this kind of cool toned chocolate glittery palette or glittery color right here and start applying that to my lid. Right, then I'm just going to blend that out so it's all one. Okay, so I am getting a little bit of fallout underneath that, so I'm just going to take some um, RCMA powder and just using my sponge, I'm just going to pack that on there so we can just sweep away the fallout for later. All done. Just kidding. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other. I just pack on that color. And yeah. Okay, so now that both eyes are done, I'm going to sweep away all that freaking powder. So now taking a Morphe E36, I'm going to take that same color that we put in the crease and run that under my lower lash line. Okay, so I went ahead and added some lashes. I used the Wispy, the Ardell Wispy lashes. Those are definitely the easiest lashes to use for beginners. They barely, like they don't even have a band. You can't even see them. So highly recommend for beginners. I hate applying lashes, but I definitely think it adds to the look, so I wanted to do so for this look so it's a little bit more dramatic. So now we're going to do um, lips. So I'm going to be using Mannequin from Jeffree Star, his liquid lipsticks. Does anyone else think his lipsticks smell like root beer? Or is it just me? And then I'm going to use the Pat McGrath um, lip gloss. This is in Dare to Bear, the Lust gloss that she just came out with. And I'm just going to put this right on top. And I'm just going to keep this in the center of my lips so they look a little bit fuller. All right, and that completes this look right here of a brown glitter look. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching everyone. Please subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I really enjoy reading all the comments and it's super exciting for me to see my channel grow. So I would really appreciate you subscribing, leaving me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.